yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thank you for joining us here in Grand Theft Auto V. We are here at the Alien Hippie Camp, where we think it is still possible to get abducted here in San Andreas. There's a UFO right above us, and that same UFO abducted Michael. We do have a theory that we've been working on that perhaps will get us abducted. And maybe the aliens will let us drive the UFO. Yeah. That would be epic. That would be awesome. I'm RJ, chilling here with Mikey. Yo, yo, what's happening, everyone? Now, there's a ton of alien references here, that's for sure. The biggest reference that we're looking at is this red arrow. It points to this red circle here. Directly above this circle is the flying saucer UFO. Once again, the same one that abducted Michael. A lot of people speculate Michael just hallucinated it. He did take some high-powered drugs that Jimmy gave him, and then he saw some monkeys before getting beamed up into the UFO. But we are going to put the space docker right here on the dot. It is right after 3 o'clock. We all know the UFO shows up at Mount Chiliad shortly after 3. So let's go ahead and try to get one of the rarest alien sounding horns. Normally it shows up here. There it is. Wow, yeah, there it is. Very odd. Definitely sounds crazy, and there's a couple other uh, very rare horns as well, so maybe we'll try to get it. But the bottom line is, this is our best idea to get abducted. In this episode, we're actually gonna try this out with all three characters, because we're currently thinking, who is the best character to get abducted? We know that Michael certainly has some history with aliens. Right now, we are Franklin. Let's go ahead and switch up the horns again. Same one there. There's the uh, very rare horn right there. That's the one we were really looking for. Yeah, that one's very odd, and who knows, maybe it's somehow making uh, communication to the UFO, obviously it's right above us. That's so. what we're hoping for, and I believe a couple other people came out that theory. Basically, they're saying that the space docker makes a strange sound at the, the most suspicious locations in GTA, especially the ones that have little symbols on the special edition map of the game. You can take a black light to make some special symbols appear. Let's activate Franklin's ability as well. That's going to make the lighting here at the Alien Hippie Camp even more ominous. Trippy. The lights on the Space Stalker glow as well. And uh, the main horn that I think is crazy is right here at the Alien Hippie Camp because this is the one place that we've been able to confirm it always comes on right here no matter what yeah i feel like most of the time it comes on right away this time it took a couple until we did get one of the rare horns right unfortunately didn't seem to activate anything no. uh, anything that you see here at nighttime as we yeah. are in the uh, suspicious hours of the uh, alien activity here anything you're looking at mikey yeah actually one thing that does uh come out to me here uh all, everything's dark here, um, but you do see the one light uh, directed towards the wall right there, straight ahead. Um, and I don't know exactly what is on the wall there. If we want to take a look real quickly. Yeah, why not? Perhaps throw a couple sticky bombs on there. Let's yeah. see if there are any uh, special messages over yeah. here. I know it says karma. And this is one of the reasons why people think the karma theory of GTA, where you have to complete the storyline 100% right. and uh, not kill any of the optional uh, guys that you have to kill in the game. What do we have here? Looks like some more yoga positions. A lot of oh. people say yoga is okay. the key. The light is now out. The light is out. It probably just changed 5 o'clock, so yes. it is now officially daytime. Okay. It's not called Barry. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. So... No abduction here by Franklin. We tried the space docker. Certainly makes sense for the space docker to dock with the UFO. You have a UFO above us right now. 
We're back at the Alien Hippie Camp. It is just past 3 o'clock. We've returned with Trevor. Uh, we have to give a shout out to Chicago Knight, Frags, and Nessa. Uh, three of the members of our Chiliad Mystery Chat that we have on Skype. They definitely give us a lot of help, a lot of really cool ideas. And they requested, when it comes to Trevor getting abducted, that it should be thundery outside while Trevor is drunk. It'd be nice to get him even more high. We'll have to figure out a way to pull that off. And, of course, have them here on the circle right below the UFO. It seems like the Thundery Cheat runs out really quickly in this game. That's, that's kind of crazy. It doesn't give you much time to get the lightning because, let's face it, it'd be epic to get struck by lightning. Perhaps it needs to be snowing, Mike. Yeah. Do you um, think snow would contact the aliens? I don't know. I mean, really, I, I like the idea of being drunk in this area here. It's a really cool idea. It does um, make sense, that's for sure. Absolutely. Um, and he's in his underwear. I mean, you never know. Uh, I, I don't know about that. but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you think about it, Mike, he actually, when he does the, he huffs gas back at his house. Yes. Sir. And normally when he comes out of that, he is just in his underwear. And many people speculate I have a hard time putting in the cheats here. Finally got it back to Thundery. Let's get on the circle quickly. But a lot of people speculate that he is getting abducted by the aliens while he is huffing gas. Interesting. So let's activate the uh, special ability. I thought I saw a light right above him there for a second. Yeah. Of course, it illuminates a lot of things, much like the Space Doctor, especially with the rain out. You have the tree in the background with all of the lights on it. Oh, epic lightning bolt coming down over there. Oh man, wouldn't it be so awesome to have Trevor struck by lightning? It would be great to cover it live. You know, if we actually got that on a recording because some people have said that it's happened to him, but let's face it, we have not seen visual evidence. Yeah, I mean... I. That would be awesome to get visual evidence of that. If Getting any, struck by light. Yeah, that would be awesome. If anyone is able to pull that off and get that on video recording... That would be awesome. You'd have to, like, definitely let us know right away. Definitely let us know. Spam us. <laughs> yeah, let us know because uh, don't worry, we, we want to see, see that. that. So, uh, definitely. But, um, no, I, I'm interested in this uh, lightning here. It's going crazy. I mean, it really is. And... Of course, no, there's a UFO right above us. Wow, you're right, man. The lightning seems to be even more intense than normal. Maybe we are do, doing something right. Perhaps Chicago Knight and Frags, as well as Nessa, are on to something. Definitely a special shout out to Nessa. In fact, she is the only known female jetpack hunter, at least that I know. So if yeah. you know of any, or if you are a female, Chiliad mystery enthusiast here in Grand Theft Auto 5 definitely let us know <laughs> that would be cool to, yeah. uh, to know that there's some chicks trying to figure out the mysteries of Grand Theft Auto 5 there's gotta be I mean come on a lot of us are completely done with single player but just something tells me that there's there's something past the single player campaign something else to do maybe it has to do with aliens there's a good chance that we have to wait until we get a DLC to continue it. Let's go ahead and change characters. Trevor, unfortunately, is not getting abducted. Looks like we might be onto something, but perhaps we have to use the guy who got abducted to begin with. Michael with the Epsilon robes, the monkey mask. Of course, when he got abducted, you had all those monkeys surrounding him, the ominous green light from the space soccer, at least that same exact light could be seen as he was abducted, taken into the UFO. Once again, the same UFO that we see above us right now. And uh, then he was dropped in his underwear, like Trevor here. And uh, who knows if that was something that really happened to old Mikey, or if it was just a hallucination Let's go ahead and meet up with Michael with his Epsilon robes. The Epsilon can be seen in 
all kinds of different situations here in the game, including in the Los Santos City Crest. Let's go ahead and change it up. It is nearly 3 o'clock. Here we are with Michael in his Epsilon robes. We know that the Epsilon program is very involved with aliens and all kinds of really crazy stuff. Yeah. Is this the time to get abducted? It's thundery outside, lightning striking everywhere. We have put sticky palms <laughs> trying to send signals. Perhaps a wow signal to the aliens currently overhead. And I think what we're going to do at 3 o'clock is we're going to call Lester. Because in Lester's house, you do have a box that says Desert UFO. And this is the Desert UFO. So maybe he knows something right at 3 o'clock. We will call him. Let's dial him up, Mike. Let's see what happens, man. Lester certainly knows a lot. Is he up? Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably... Okay, plan B, Mike. The railgun. Our railgun was seemingly abducted directly into the beam-me-up uh, light that comes down from the Zancudo UFO. So uh, maybe we can recreate that here. Unfortunately, there's nothing to kill us except for all of the sticky bombs that are lined around the alien hippie camp let's go ahead and uh blow this one up for good yes. thank you guys so much for joining us we really appreciate it we have many more theories that we've been planning out that we need to uh do some videos on very soon so yeah. stay tuned we really appreciate it i'm rj for mike we will see you guys in the next episode hopefully we get abducted <laughs> stay trippy everybody Later.